After releasing our doomsday warning based on the 2014 crop circles, one viewer suggested the 520 2014 cross crop circle may be the circle creator's message about where they are from. So I did some research on Cygnus constellation and look what I found. Did you know a bombshell discovery exploded a few months ago? The Tabby's Star Mystery. No one can explain why Tabby's light has changed so much. So scientists came up with Comet Tsunami, our alien megastructure, as the hypothesis. There are already thousands of articles and videos on this. But why should you watch my video? Because I will show you the alien hypothesis is not only possible, it already happened. A few months ago, the Kepler Space Telescope found small, frequent, non-periodic dips in brightness while observing Kick 8462852, the so-called Tabby star in the Cygnus constellation. For years, scientists used light dips of stars to study the planets and the orbits. But please note, when our giant Jupiter passes by our Sun, it only will dip the light by 1%, but Tabby's light dimmed by 15% and 20% when observed. And the dips happened over a 750-day period. One big dip even lasted 100 days by itself. What could have caused it? One possibility is that Tabby is a young star and the light was affected by the coalescing material around it. But it is unlikely because NASA found no evidence to support that theory. While the second possibility is a collision of two planets, like the collision which created our moon, but that would create a tremendous warm dust cloud, which is nowhere to be found. So the third and last non-UFO explanation is the passing of about 648,000 comets. Basically, to create a light dip like that, the comets must cover an area about a thousand times the size of the Earth. Is it possible? Of course, because anything is possible. But think about it this way. If there is such a comet tsunami, it would have destroyed everything in its path. The last possible explanation, as astronomer Jason Wright suggested, is that the objects are a megastructure made by an alien civilization, such as a Dyson Swarm. It is a structure built around a star to intercept light for energy, basically a huge solar panel. But as Carl Sagan said, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. Who can have evidence for evidence on a star 1400 light years away? What would you say if I tell you that I do? Before I show you, let's consider if the megastructure is even possible. How much material do you need to make a structure like that? And when the warranty expires, who's going to fix it? And if aliens are so advanced, they must have something better than a solar panel. Like maybe a portable black hole. Not a Dyson sphere like this. Hope Solar Dynamics Observatory caught the presence of a spherical dark object near the sun that seems to be absorbing energy from the sun. This had never been seen. Knowing the distance of the object from the solar surface, it must be enormous, probably bigger than our planet. 
observe closely. The dark sphere stayed near the sun for over 80 hours. When it moved away, it caused a great turbulence in the solar atmosphere that shaked for more than five hours. This proves that the unknown object is there. The image is located in the original files of NASA's image system, HelioViewer. We could confirm that this black sphere actually appears in the shots. Since March 8, 2012, at 1400 hours Universal Time, when it starts to be visible, it comes closer and we can clearly see that it comes from an area outside the sun. While coming closer to track strands of energy from the solar surface, it stayed there until March 11th. On this date, it started to disappear at approximately 0.15 hours. It started to move away. Watch how it closes turbulence in the solar atmosphere. The fire flares move for almost six hours due to the object's presence. Controllers of the Space Telescope were confused and tried to explain this unprecedented event. There are no backgrounds of something similar to this. There are no records of an unusual object that seems to be absorbing solar energy. The Solar Dynamics Observatory that caught this video is the last solar space telescope that NASA launched on February 11th See, advanced technology should be able to harvest solar energy without building solar panels. Solar panels work best when used to get government rebates. However, a dying planet may need to build solar stations if they need to power up the entire world. Like this one I saw on a TED Talk video. Look familiar? How about this one? the 4-9-2016 Netherlands Crop Circle. Or maybe we just witnessed the real Star Wars. Humans have advanced beyond imagination in the last 500 years. But our appetite for fighting has only escalated. So maybe an advanced alien civilization is also like fight advanced Star Wars. The size of the objects also troubled scientists. Each of the thousands of objects is about the size of our Earth. Well, what is the size of the object I just showed you in the video? The size of our Earth. So, what can it be? Well, how about part of a UFO fleet? Because an alien hypothesis is often the last resort for scientists, the most popular Tabby's Mystery decoding by the scientists is comets. Or I should say, a comet tsunami. To get the kind of dip in light it will take 648,000 comets. I don't know about you, but I can't imagine any life surviving such a comet tsunami. If they are not comets, not alien solar panels, what are they? Well, let me show you another video. Earlier this year, I published a few videos while observing NASA's images. Our sun seemed to have dimmed in several occasions. Is it possible that our sun is fading because its energy is being taken? I will say yes based on the laws of physics. Could Tabby Star be fading because of the energy sucking UFO fleet or solar stations? Sounds like the most 
possible or plausible explanation to me. 2012 was a very interesting year. Not only did it have the most flybys, but it was supposed to be our doomsday. And as I have shown you from the 2012 collections, we have another video downloaded from NASA showing an Earth-sized object sucking energy from our sun. The date is 3-12-2012. We have flybys at that time. Remember, yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, and today is a gift. That is why we call it present. Go sunbathing and enjoy our beautiful sun before aliens take it. This is Ken Peters at MysteryDecoders.com. Thanks for watching.